Hey everyone, here's another video about the great Gene Krupa. And this video is about a technique that he would use where he would play a double stroke and split up the double stroke between two different parts of the drum set. And this was a technique that a lot of drummers back then used, Baby Dodds, Ray Baduk, George Wetling. It's a great technique because there are certain phrases where this is the, really the only way to play them. There are certain ideas where this is the only sticking that will work. And some of Gene Krupa's most classic patterns involve this sticking. He was the first drummer who made me aware of this. And as I said, he was an absolute master of it. So the way Gene Krupa would usually play this would be with a double stroke in his right hand split up between two different parts of the set. And in between that right hand double stroke, he would either usually play a single stroke with his left hand or a single bass drum stroke. So I'll show you a few of the ways he would do this. So if you take that sticking with two rights and one left, he would play the left hand on the snare drum and split up the right hand double between the small tom and the cowbell. He had a great way of just sort of bouncing his right hand between the tom and the cowbell. Uh, he would often get into this with something kind of like... He would also play that same pattern, the right hand going back and forth between the small tom and the cowbell, but with the left hand on the bass drum. play four on the bass drum with his foot on top of that. That's a really great one that he would play. You can see him play that in a little short promotional film that he made for the Gene Krupa story with Sal Minio. And in that short film, he says that that was a break that they used to play in Chicago in the 1920s. So that's a really great effect of splitting up those doubles and with the left hand on the bass drum. And then just one more that he would do, same thing, but the single stroke on the bass drum. And with this one, the doubles on the right hand are going back and forth between the crash cymbal and the floor tom. That's a really great one for a variety of reasons. First of all, nothing is playing at the same time. That bass drum note is coming in between the notes with the right hand, so that's a certain kind of coordination. You also get the cymbal crash all by itself, not reinforced with a bass drum or a snare drum, just a cymbal crash all alone, which I think is a beautiful sound. And then the bass drum and the floor tom are the two largest drums so you get a certain kind of blend in between the two of them, which is really great as well. So there you go. Split double strokes. Check out Gene Krupa. He plays this quite often, some kind of pattern involving a split double stroke. And as I said, other great drummers did this as well. It's a great technique to work on. It really opens up a lot of possibilities. So I hope that was helpful. Thanks a lot, everyone. I will be back soon.